Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make Afro R&B type beats. Yes, Afro beats inspired by R&B. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here, I have my project file. I'm going to set the tempo. Now, typically Afro R&B beats are slow, typically between 90 to 100 beats per minute. Sometimes it can even be slower than 90, maybe like 86, 88 BPM. So I'm going to come right here, type in value. Let me use 92 just a random tempo. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is play my chords. I'm going to come right here and then add Xenology. And I'll be using this sound. I'm going to come to the piano roll. Now to create R&B chords, it's real simple. I'm going to show you the way to create manually. And you can also get this R&B MIDI chord pack that has over 50 Afro R&B MIDI chords so that you, know, you don't lose inspiration. For example, if I drag and drop this right here and I accept. You hear that instant R&B chord. And if I come right here and I drop this right here. The final one before I show you how to do it manually. You hear that right sounds real good anyway so let me show you how to do it manually okay so if i come right here and make sure you can do any of the keys but i'm going to use c major okay and for that i'm going to let's say start here typically you want to have chord extensions okay so let's say i'm starting from um, this right here and i'll stretch it out for about two bars then the typical one three five okay you want to have the typical one three five triads from a seventh Let's reduce the velocity a little bit. Or oh, alternate X. No. Let me break this up into two parts. You can let it run all through, but some chords may not let you stay that long. Okay. Then next, I'm going to duplicate this. And then come to this third chord. And then let's move it up. You can move it up and down to you find a place you like. Then I'm going to come right here, move this up. When you have this broken chord right here, especially towards the last part of the chord, you can introduce a minor. Okay, so a minor is just simply taking a note because this is a major scale. So I'm going to take it out of scale. Every major chord or every major scale has a minor. I'm going to come right here and put it here. Easily, right? We've gotten the R&B chords. Now again, if this is too much for you, just get the MIDI chords. And all the keys are signified so you can see so you don't get, make mistake or get lost, okay? So I totally recommend the MIDI chords if you don't understand what I just did. So before we go any further, I want to let you know you can sign up for our online beat making course where you learn how to make beginner Afro beats all the way to advanced level Afro beats. So I'm going to take you through the basics from how to make drums, how to make melodies, and even music theory so that you really know where you're clicking and you're not just guessing or hoping. So if you're interested in learning in great detail in an organized manner, where you also get to earn a certificate after you're done completing the program, Click the link in the description or just go to our website sctutorials.com and check out our courses, specifically the beat making course. I'm going to become a beat making wizard. So I'm going to create my lead melody. I'm going to be using Sky Keys and I'm going to come to Effected and let's see what sound we can get. So I'll be using this sound. I come to Piano Roll. And I'm going to play a very simple pattern. Now, when it comes to playing melodies, especially for R&B, Afro beats, you want to keep it real simple so that there's space for the artist to vibe and, you know, flex their vocals. So I'm going to come right here. For now, follow the chord progression. Reduce the length of the notes. Let's reduce the volume. Yeah. I would like a signature rhythm that just carries it, okay? So it's going to repeat basically the same song to find a melody that I really like. 
let's move it forward. I think he came too early. Yeah, I think I like that. Let me move it across. Nice, I like that. I'm going to reduce the volume. So now I'm going to add a counter still using Xenology. And I'm using this sound FM Sparkles. Come to Piano Row. And I'll just hit on the root key. I'm going to link it to the mixer and shave off some high frequency. I think it's a bit too sharp. So I'll link it right here and then use EQ. I can also add some reverb. So let me add an ambient melody and let me use sky keys this time and in sky keys i'm going to come to synth let me try this guy and come to piano roll now just follow most of the root key but i may deviate a little bit So before I go too far, let me add a drum pattern, you know. I'm going to come right here, open channel rack, then come to SC2's premium kit. Let's go to one shot. And I come to kick. Yeah, I like this. I'm going to use that kick. Go to a new pattern. And let's bring in a rim shot. Okay, I like this. Let's have a simple rhythm first. Um, let me quickly duplicate this and then I'm going to layer it just so it has a little bit of weight on the rim shot. So let's look for a layer. Let's layer with that, paste it in here. Add this. I don't like that. Let's try seven. That sounds better. Then I'm going to add another percussion. Let's try this guy again. And let's add some hats. Although this is optional, but you know, I feel like hats will really make it sound interesting. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to keep the drums as simple as that. Then I'm going to come back to my melodies and keep building on my melodies. So I found this guitar loop on Splice, this um, acoustic guitar loop, just to add some vibe to the production. So I'm going to stretch it, reduce the volume, stretch. Then I'm going to transpose it so it matches my key because this is currently on C minor. And I'm currently working on C major. C major, the relative minor for C major is A minor. So you just have to count how many steps from C minor to A minor. And if I count on my keyboard, or if I use any keyboard, let me use the piano rule. So from C to A is minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus three or minus 300, okay? I'm going to come right here, minus 300.
Now it's time for us to add bass. So let's come back to our melodies. I'm going to be using a synth bass this time. Um, let me see, let's use GMS, a stock plugin. And come right here. Yeah, I think I like this one. So I'm going to use this bass. Come to piano roll. I want the bass to have like a jump. Doom, doom. Let's increase velocity. Then we just copy this. This sounds good, but let's try it on the minor. Let's see if it will make sense. Not bad. Let's try it on a, let's try this part on the lower octave. Nice. Now bass most times typically work within the third and fourth octave. Sometimes we work on the fifth, but most times it sounds better on the third or fourth. But if you get a bass that sounds good and heavy on the fifth, work with it as it is. Like Spins 808, you can find it for free on the internet. Spins 808 are very popular. I'm going to come to this um, envelope right here and then make the attack that way. Um, I think that's pretty much all the settings I'll do. Maybe reduce the volume and then come to piano roll. Then we to have like the 808 jump in between the main bass I just played. Mm. So it's going to like pump that way. Mm. Okay, now. I feel like it's a bit too heavy. Let me try a different kind of bass. I'm going to come to the extend. I'm going to come to FM sub. I want a bass that is soft but round. So let's copy this guy. I'm going to add some strings. I'm going to use Triton Extreme for my strings. I just like the strings on Triton Extreme. They are easy to use without drawing your CPU so much. So I'm going to come to Browse, Strings. I already have some favorites in here. You can just pause this video and favorite yours as well because these are really good strings that I favorited. So I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to come to the piano roll. Now I think I'll just create a new pattern for these strings because it might be long. I want this string to kind of like be dark, you know, not too bright. I don't have like a pop feel. So let's see. Let me start from third octave, freeze the velocity. Let's see it. Then we're going to reduce this. Now, what to this? Now it sounds more like Afro swing now, but we're going to add some layers to the strings to make it sound more emotional. So we're going to come right here. Um, Tap on this. You 
you just play around between the third, the fifth, and sometimes just move it randomly to see what combination you like. It'll give you a more emotional feel, okay? So, I'm sure if I was to play this again, I'd have taken a different route. So, but I just have this melody in my head. Uh, let's try this. Let's try fifth here. One, two, three, four, five. So. You can play with the velocity to emphasize on certain areas. Nice. So I'm going to add another string layer to this, but I'll use a different string. I recommend use a different string texture. I'm going to come to, let's try this. I'm going to try high octave. So I'm going to have this right here. a bit longer just to add more tension let's add a layer to this so just like the string sounds a bit wide and i think i'll take it to a lower octave maybe like fifth Okay, this sounds good. So I'm going to break it up and then arrange it to see how this beat sounds like. So after arrangement, this is how it's looking. The intro, verse, pre-hook, then hook. The only difference between the first half and the second half is that the second hook is 16 bars instead of 8 bars. But just to save some time in this tutorial, um, this is how it's sounding. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. Cheers.